This is our 10th show, and it's a rotating show. So every year we have it in a different location. This is our first time in Milwaukee, our second time in Wisconsin. Well, Milwaukee's a great city to have Pheasant Fest and Quail Classic in. One of the great draws is Wisconsin has a very strong hunting heritage to it. Well over 800,000 hunters live in the state, so we've really seen a really warm welcome from the state. And Milwaukee has really got a great foodie scene and local war movement, so the Wild Game Cooking Stage has been a great addition to the show here. Over the course of the three days, we're going to have about 25 to 30,000 upland hunters and upland enthusiasts and dog lovers here. And really something that's always found interesting is the fact that the fastest growing demographic is women in the upland hunting world. And if you look around, women are represented here quite strong. So something that everybody loves when they attend Pheasant Fest are of course the dogs. And that's really one of the really unique things about Pheasant Fest and Quail Clack is, like, is that if you look around, you can find every different type of dog under the sun that's a sporting dog. Um, you can look at Deutsch Kazars, uh, Deutsch Drathars, Clumber Spaniels. We even have the American Stabby Hoon, which there's only 3,500 of these dogs in the world, and we have them here at Pheasant Fest. So if you are somebody who really likes dogs, whether they be hunting dogs or just dogs in general, this would be a great opportunity for you to come by and see some. I'm Rich Runge. I'm the breed warden for the North American Deutsch Kutzar Club. The Kutzar itself is a breed that's well over 100 years old. They were bred in Germany to, uh, to hunt everything. I mean, from small game to waterfowl to, to hunting stag and boar. They have a breeding program where the hunting has to be proven, the confirmation, uh, the hip x-rays. Uh, they're, what they're trying to do is produce a sound dog for the average foot hunter. Uh, over here, the NADKC was formed back in 1993. Our club sta stays to the German standards of testing. We're trying to produce sound dogs. That's what we're all about. We're nationwide, Canada, US, Mexico. Uh, we travel, we, we test all over the place. So they're great pets. Obviously, he's, yeah, they're having fun with me here, but. Matt is a, a KS title dog, which is a Clayman Seeger, short hair champion from Germany. He actually was born in the U.S., but they took him back to Germany. I was fortunate enough to judge him at, at one of his VGPs. And to watch this dog work and cover the area, use his nose, I mean, he, he's, he's a fantastic dog. He's a happy dog. He's, he really likes to work. Obviously, he doesn't like to sit still in this place for very long, but... You know, it, it's 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 a good thing. You have to have temperaments important with these dogs. Ah, Matt, quit. The testing, the confirmation ratings that we do with these dogs. You know, it all it, it's all for a sound dog. I, I I tell some everybody, there's no such thing as a perfect dog. But if you get a nice sound dog that has you know has good hips and and good eyes and good bite and you know his confirmation is correct, he's going to move correct and he's going to last a lot of years for you. I feel. And we breed for all sound dogs. It's not, you know, trying to get a super dog. We want the whole litter to be good. So by breeding sound dogs to sound dogs, this is what you get. As a prospective buyer of puppies for these breeds, the nice thing about this is you can put your hands on the breed. You can be talking to experts, the people that raise them, train them, test them, 
and do all this. I mean, you're, this kind of information, you're not gonna get anywhere else. It's one-on-one -on -one with every representative of all the breeds that are here. This is special stuff. You know, you can't go online and get this stuff. What type of hunting do you do? Are you, are you an upland hunter and a waterfowler second or a waterfowler first and that? Uh, you know, I have guys that do nothing but, but uh, deer hunt. So, I mean, as a puppy buyer, you're coming in, you really have to kind of zero in on, on what you're wanting out of a dog and what dog will best fit your purposes. You know, uh, if you got a lot of little kids, most of these dogs are really great with kids. Almost all the versatile breeds that I know are, are really good with kids. I mean, even your labs and everything, these are, these are not the specialist, they do everything. There's over 40 dogs of different species here, all geared toward the hunting. To be here this weekend is, is priceless. You can't do any, you can't do any more. So, yeah, he's holding still. But, you know, so come on out and, and see them. Talk to them, find out about the dogs. If you're really interested in, in having a hunting dog, this is the place to be. We're the NADKC, visit us online at nadkc.org and little, learn a little bit more about the, the DKs and whether they'll fit into your, your program as a hunting dog.